So in this video, I want to quickly set up an SMB share for usage in storing virtual machines for Hyper-V. Now, the first thing I'm actually gonna do is create a new share. So I'm actually gonna just drop down and make a new directory. Now for the permissions, I need to make sure both my domain administrators and the computer accounts of all the Hyper-V servers have full control. So I'm going to use the, I'm actually going to do it all from the command line. It's actually just easier. So I'm going to set the inheritance. And then basically I'm just going to grant Firstly, my domain admins group. Full control. Oh. And then, each of my Hyper-V servers. So remember it's a dollar account at the end of the computer name, which is how the computer accounts are always named. So that's my domain admins and my two Hyper-V servers. And then I'm just actually gonna create the shell. And for the shell, I'm actually gonna jump over to PowerShell for that. So I can use the new SMB shell name Hyper-V share of Hyper-V share and full access to again actually it's got a space in it my domain admins and then my two Hyper-V servers. Oh. So that's created. And I can actually go and see that now. So if I go and look in Explorer, I've got my new folder I created. If I look at the properties and security, we can see they have full permissions. And there's no inherited permissions. It's basically just creating them from scratch, which was that setting I configured. If I look at my share. It's the same. So now I have a share ready to host Hyper-V machines from either of my servers. Now I'm gonna do one other thing really quickly. Because I may wanna do storage migrations in the future, I'm actually gonna allow my Hyper-V servers to have constrained delegation to be able to pass credentials if something was done remotely to that file server. So I need to add this for a specific computer. So it's that file server. And it's just for the KIFS protocol. So this would mean if I remotely try to do some storage operation, um, that Hyper-V server would also be able to pass my credentials through to the file server. So I'm going to do that for both my Hyper-V servers. Okay, so at this point I can use it. So I'm actually on one of my Hyper-V boxes now. 
and a good thing will be to test can I actually get to that share so I'll do a run win 2012 RCFS01 and there it is and what I'm actually going to do now is move a virtual machine to it so I could create a new one um, but for right now I'm just going to move this running virtual machine so it's here I'm in that virtual I'm just going to initiate a move by selecting move from the action I just want to move the virtual machine storage move it to a single location and then well, where do I want to go to so I'm going to select that share I'm actually going to give it a new folder so I want to move it to the share So it's going off, it's actually going to start doing that migration. So you can see it's moving the storage. You can see it's sending it over the network. At a fairly good rate. And if I look at my share again, I can see it's starting to populate it with data. So it's copying it over. Now the important thing is, while it's doing this, the virtual machine is still fully usable. I can connect, uh, I can use the store for the first time. I could run applications, but I'm not gonna have any downtime associated with this action. Get a game. I can install things. And all the while I'm doing this, this migration is still going on, it's capping storage in the background. So there's no downtime to the VM. So this is really two things. One is this is me hosting a VM on an SMB share, which is something new with Windows Server 2012, but also I have a live storage move capability. So I'm moving the storage of the virtual machine while the VM is still running. Zero downtime, won't get disconnected, no pause, uh, complete mobility. Obviously, and this is part of technology we use in a live storage migration and a, and a shared nothing live migration of an entire VM storage, memory, device state, CPU, everything. So just gonna let that run. We're actually getting close to it being finished. is available and no sound on this box but so that app is still running we'll look at my migration still chugging along Obviously, I'm making changes to that storage as it's copying it. So it's actually going to come back and do a, a catch up once it's finished sending all of the storage over. <laughs> 
So this is because I'm actually not connected via a, um, a Windows 8 RDP full client on this. I'm using like a remote desktop connection manager, so I'm not remote FX capable to actually have on this VM. But the point of this was just to show you that the disconnection doesn't happen when I'm doing the migration. So it's, it's not copying storage anymore. Everything's complete. If I look at my share, it's now there. Obviously I, I never got disconnected. The game just played. Oh, too late. Um, and it's just running. And if I now look at that virtual machine, it's now completely running off of that SMB share. So I'm moving machines from local storage, direct attached, SAN, SMB with no downtime. So this demoed both SMB and the live storage move. Thank you.